Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Well, in this video, we have breaking news to cover. We have to cover the fact that the House of Representatives in the United States Congress just passed a massive gargantuan size $2 trillion bill. We'll be talking about the bill, what's inside of it, what comes next, and what it means for you. We'll be talking about this all in today's video. I hope you enjoyed the last video where we talked about why I just sold $120,000 worth of Apple stock. If you didn't see that video, look for it down below in the description of this video. You can check out that link below. And with that being said, let's get started. But before we do, as always, make sure you guys do a couple things for me. Number one, go ahead and smash the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Click that big red button and that little notification bell as well. That little bell will notify you when we do post a brand new video. And we'll be doing a next cash giveaway when we do it 20,000 subscribers. You'll have to be subscribed to be entered in that giveaway. Might as well get out of the way now and become subscribed. With that being said, let's get started and dive right into today's video. The Democratic-controlled House on Friday passed this sweeping legislation. It was not an easy vote. It was a very narrow vote in the House, but it tackles most of President Biden's domestic agenda and his top priorities. Everything from tackling climate change and expanding the country's social safety net. This was a major win for President Biden and the Democrats, and it moves the bill one step closer to his desk to be signed into law. The House voted with a very thin margin to pass this bill, 220 to 213. Just one, one single Democrat joined all of Republicans to oppose this measure. And after we discuss what's inside of this bill, I'm curious down below in the comment section, let us know if you are in favor of this bill or are you against it? I'll certainly be curious to hear. We'll do a little bit of a poll on our channel. Democrats were thrilled to get this bill forward. In fact, cheers erupted on the House floor after Nancy Pelosi declared this bill passed. And in fact, they even started chanting Nancy. Now, the bill heads to the Senate floor and it's hoping to make a vote before Christmas. In the Senate, they're likely to make a lot of changes to this bill in order to win all the support of all 50 Democrat voting members. And they also have to comply with a lot of old budget rules. So after the changes are made to the bill, this would mean that the bill will then go back to the House so that way the House could revote on this bill before it could actually become law. So let's talk about what is inside of this measure. Well, great news for those parents out there who have been hoping that they can continue receiving their child tax credit payments, their monthly payments. And speaking of which, the last one is on its way come this December. That will be the final payment. Luckily, inside this bill, there is a permanent expansion and extension of the child tax credit. So that is great news for you parents. This monthly payment would be a per child cash payment of up to $300 for most parents. Also in this bill, you could find child care funding, universal pre-K, an extension of the Affordable Care Act subsidies, and Medicare hearing benefits. It also commits $555 billion towards combating climate change, which is the largest effort in U.S. history to tackle the crisis. How is the president and Democrats hoping to pay for this bill and cover the expenses? Well, number one, not surprising, they're hoping to increase taxes on upper earners and corporations. They also want more IRS enforcement and prescription drug savings by empowering Medicare to negotiate prices for certain medications. Speaker Nancy Pelosi took a victory lap at a press conference flanked by other top House Democratic leaders, and she expressed confidence that this bill will ultimately go to President Biden's desk after the House and Senate reconcile their differences. She said at this press conference, quote, we'll be telling our children and grandchildren that we were here this day. She went on to say, this is legislation that creates millions of good paying jobs, giving tax cuts to the middle class, lowers costs, especially health care costs and child care costs for the middle class, and is paid for 100%. What will this bill exactly cost? Well, the CBO, or the Congressional Budget Office, estimates that the bill will cost $1.68 trillion over a decade, while raising $1.27 trillion in revenue, with an extra $207 billion boost through tougher IRS enforcement, basically cracking down on taxes and making sure that everyone pays their fair share. Overall, the CBO also projected that the bill will add $160 billion to the long-term deficit, but more moderate Democrats were placated by Treasury Department estimates that said the added IRS enforcement would yield a larger savings of roughly $400 billion and fully pay for the spending package. So certainly some politics going on there and 
certainly differences of opinion. Republicans have been outspoken with their anger and disappointment over this bill, extremely upset of this measure, and in a lengthy speech that delayed the vote ultimately, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, a Republican from California, blasted the legislation as, quote, the most reckless and irresponsible spending bill in our nation's history. He said that Biden's agenda was even bigger than the New Deal and that, quote, never in American history has so much been spent at one time. Again, this is nearly two trillion after trillions and trillions already spent between both the Trump and Biden administration. And McCarthy said, quote, if I sound angry, I am. Who spoke for more than three hours. He drawed jeers from several Democrats in the process. In response to the speech, Nancy Pelosi fired back on Friday saying, I don't even listen to most of the speeches on the other side because they're not fraught with meaning or fact. And she said that she barely noticed that he broke her record for the longest House floor speech, according to Nancy Pelosi. But the divisions aren't only between Republicans and Democrats within the Democratic Party itself. You had a great divide between centrists and moderates and progressives with centrists pushing time and time again to lower the cost of this bill and drive out a lot of the liberal policies that were originally inside of it. Again, some components are expected to change in the U.S. Senate, where the Democrats have 50 votes and they cannot afford any defections. They cannot afford one Democrat to vote no on this bill. For example, a provision in the House bill guaranteeing paid leave is already opposed by Senator Joe Manchin, who has been a very outspoken moderate in the Senate. Democrat from West Virginia, and it is at risk of being stripped out with his vote. And an expansion of the state and local tax deduction from $10,000 to $80,000 faces resistance from some senators, while immigration policies allowing legal status for young dreamers and others may run afoul of budget rules. So many changes are expected to come this bill. Don't expect it to pass in its current form. That will likely not happen. So that is where the bill stands right now. I would not be surprised if the bill runs into 2022 next year before Democrats can actually send it to the president's desk. Do you believe this bill will ultimately get passed or will it fall flat on its face? Let us know down below in the comments and also, of course, let us know if you are in favor of this bill or are you against it? Do you think the price tag is too much right now with the soaring inflation and the costs running rampant all over the country? Can we afford another nearly $2 trillion in federal spending? Should the price tag be cut in half? What do you think? Let us know all your thoughts down below in the comment section, and we'll be sure to respond as to as many as we can. More news, updates, and developments will follow suit. We are expecting the Senate to deliberate it in the coming future, so we'll be sure to talk about that on this channel. All news can be found right here on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button. I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Click that big red button and the notification bell. If you want to get some free stocks, all on me, all free. Use those links down below in the description. Sign up with the brokerage platforms Robinhood and or Webull. You get some free stocks, some tied up to thousands of dollars. All free money, no gimmicks, no obligations, no pitch. Just use those links down below in the description. And if you want to connect with me on social media outside of YouTube, I'm on Instagram at Logan Cohen, L-O-G-A-N-K-O-H-N, right there on your screen. And do stay tuned because we'll also be talking about the property that we discussed in my last video. Again, that link is down below in the description. More updates are to come on that property very, very shortly. We're almost at the clear to close, and I'll be going more into depth on this deal. So do stay tuned for that. With that being said, hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care for now.